Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a quick grocery haul and then I'm gonna be showing you how I make our favorite gypsy style meat sauce. So I didn't get a lot at the grocery store today, pretty much, I just got a couple snacks and I also just bought two meals. So I got everything to make the meat sauce and then I also got some stuff to make a scrambler, which I'll be making for breakfast sometime this week. So yeah, I'm gonna show you everything we got real quick though. So starting over here, we got some Kroger Coke. All of this is from Kroger's, by the way. We got a package of hard salami. We got some peanut butter. Got some olive oil. Got some Texas beef. Angus beef, okay. Got some red potatoes. Some eggs. A head of lettuce. We got some saltine crackers. We got some bell peppers, which I am gonna be using for the recipe, but also I got extra because we love snacking on bell peppers. I got some avocados, because you know I love my avocado toast. I got some of these crackers um, about a week ago, and I already ate the whole box. Yeah, that's right. But these are really, really good. I don't know if they have them at your stores. I guess the brand is Back to Nature. They're plant-based snacks, rosemary and olive oil. Um, organic stone ground wheat crackers. They were absolutely delicious, especially with hummus and even with a little bit of um, kind of like guacamole. So yeah, those are pretty good, so I repurchased them. Also got some sliced black olives, some tomato sauce, limes, lemon, white onion, green onion, Roma tomatoes. We got two bags of chips. We got the salt and vinegar. These are absolute favorite. These are so good. And then we also got these to try, which is the sweet and mesquite barbecue flavor. Also picked up some butter and some cheddar cheese. So yeah, that's my little grocery haul. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I make the sauce. And yeah, that's gonna be fun. So stay tuned for that. See you guys in a little bit. So this is all you're gonna need to make the sauce today. A lemon, a green bell pepper, a white onion, some Roma tomatoes, a can of tomato sauce, specifically this brand, and a can of black olives. So I'm gonna be using my little juicer today to get the juice from the lemon, and I'm also gonna be using my food processor to chop up the onion and to blend out the Roma tomatoes. So the first thing I'm doing here is cutting the top off of my bell pepper so I can de-seed it and then I'm going to chop it up and I'm actually just going to be cutting it up with a knife. I could have put it in my food processor but I kind of wanted to control the size of the pieces of the bell pepper that's going to be going in the sauce so I'm just going to do it by hand. I am adding in the white onion to my food processor because I wanted the onion to be finely chopped. You could obviously do that by hand if you don't have a food processor, but if you don't have a food processor, I highly suggest getting one and I will link mine down below in the description so you can check it out. Thank you. 
So I'm adding in my Roma tomatoes to the food processor and I'm just gonna blend them up. Before I got my food processor, I actually just used like a bullet blender. So if you have a blender, that'll work just fine. But I'm using my food processor. So I'm gonna let the tomatoes blend up completely and then I'm gonna set this to the side. So now I'm putting some olive oil in my pan. I'm gonna let that warm up for a little bit. Now I am adding in my onion and I'm also gonna add in a few squeezes of some minced garlic. I'm gonna let that cook for a few minutes before I add in my ground beef. So now that the onion is cooked for a few minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the meat and then I'm going to season it with salt and pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Now that my meat is completely browned, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the tomatoes. So I'm adding in just a little bit of the bell pepper now to the meat and tomato mixture and then I'm gonna add in the rest of the bell pepper later after the sauce gets going. And I'm also going to season this with salt and pepper, garlic powder and onion powder as well. Now I'm adding in the entire can of the tomato sauce. Aside from the salt and pepper and the garlic powder and onion powder, I also forgot to mention that I did add in some Italian seasonings. So now I'm adding in the black olives and then I'm gonna go ahead and juice my lemon on my juicer and I'm gonna add that in here as well. So this was the last step, just adding in the lemon juice and then I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit and just let that cook as I get my pasta ready.
And this is the finished product. It is absolutely delicious and as you can tell, it is super easy to make. And now it's time to clean the kitchen and as you can see I have made a big mess so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. Just in case you were wondering, I am cleaning my stovetop with Barkeeper's Friend and I'm also going to be using that to clean out my sink. So this is officially the end of the video and as you can see my kitchen is spotless. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and leave me some comments down below. And let me know if you're going to try out my recipe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!